Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Any by the Regions. So not long after I ended the last episode, I got this message through. It says, Southampton, count the money. It also says, things may never be the same again at St. Mary's after Danish businessman René Vad successfully completed the takeover of the Premier League club. According to Mail Online, Vad has promised that he will stop at nothing to ensure Southampton become one of the greatest forces in domestic and continental football. But it doesn't stop there. I was just thinking, okay, they got took over by a tycoon. Fair dues. No, 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 no. They're now considered a five-star reputation club, which means they can sign whoever the fuck they want. They are managed by Leon Osman. They haven't won anything, and they're 15th in the Premier League. Just because they got took over by a rich man, it's propelled them well above us. Like, how does that even work, game? It's just so mental. Look. Just what the fuck? In some way, it'll be interesting to see who they sign. Because they're going to have bucket loads of money. But, oh my god, that is just annoying. Look, see, Tycoon, René Vard. Wow. Trevor Turnbull has managed to win the Ballon d'Or and the World Player of the Year. I'm a bit surprised Ball didn't win it after breaking Sandoval's record for his... Scoring 77 goals last year. But Turnbull had a really good year. I mean, he scored 52 goals and assisted 38 um, in 63 games from Cam with an average rating of an 8.2. Sterling finishing second. Lorenzini finishing third. I mean, Bowl didn't even get nominated for either of these, I don't think. Yeah, you've got Sterling and Sandoval for the World Player of the Year. Really surprising. Uh, the Golden Boy was Ibanez from Sociedad. So it's the first time Sasha Ball missed out on that as well. But this guy looks really, really good. So Coutinho's time at Liverpool has come to an end. He was unhappy about not playing as many games. Obviously, Trevor Turnbull's the new number one cam. And I couldn't risk unsettling the whole squad by not selling him. So he's going to go to Napoli for just under 20 million. The January transfer window has just ended. You've got Kingsley Coman moving from Chelsea to Monaco for 24 million. There's the Coutinho deal there. Other than these two deals, nothing else really happened. Southampton didn't invest any of their new money at all. And they're currently like 15th in the league, so I don't really know what Leon Osmond's doing. Maybe he's waiting until the summer to invest, but as I said, they're 15th in the league. They need to strengthen now to improve. Otherwise, he'll probably get sacked. But who knows what he's doing, to be honest. On to the recap for the last two months. So after the Sao Paulo game, we played Blackburn in the Capital One Cup quarter-final. Managed to beat them 8-3 at Anfield. So bizarre this game. I mean, they had three shots on target. But again, Blackburn are in the championship. They're second in the championship. Managed to beat them 8-3 though. Weird. Then we played Cardiff, beat them 2-0. Turnbull and an own goal settled that game. Then we played QPR at home, again managing to beat them 4-3. QPR shouldn't really be scoring three goals against us, but they managed it. And Sandoval got one, uh, Villa got one, and Bowl got two there. Then we played Manchester City away at the Etihad. Dominated them, uh, beat them 4-2, Sandoval getting one and Bowl getting three there. Then we played Yeovil in the FA Cup third round at home. Beat them 11-0. Felt a bit harsh, I played a pretty strong side for this one because I wanted to see how many goals we could score. And the answer was 11. So it's, uh, Sterling getting 4, uh, Ball getting 1, Turnbull, Diana and Yilmaz also getting 1, and Sandoval getting a hat trick there. Then we played Newcastle at home, beat them 1-0. Probably should have been more comfortable, but we, you know, our finishing on the day was pretty shite. Then we played Spurs at home, managed to beat them 5-1. Again, yeah, really, it was really good this time anyway. The, the finish one was much better. Uh, Turnbull getting one, Sasha Ball getting two, Sandoval getting one, and Cresswell getting one off the bench there. Then we played Stoke away in the Capital One Cup semi-final first leg, managed to beat them 6-1. 44 shots in that game, away from home, which is really, really good. Uh, Sandoval get a hat-trick, Sterling, Turnbull and Dino all get one goal there. Then we played Everton away in the FA Cup 4th round, managing to beat them 5-1. Uh, the game was pretty much decided when that guy got sent off. 
it was 2-1 at that stage and we scored obviously three goals in the last half an hour to decide the game pretty much in our favour. But Sandoval, Diana and Hansi getting one goal and Turnbull getting two there. Then we played Stoke in the return leg of the Capital One Cup semi-final. Again beating them 6-1. This time I decided to play kind of like a second team apart from Ball um, and maybe Tyson, Gonzalez and Hansen. We played a few rotation players. Dino managed to get a hat-trick, an own goal, Sasha Ball and Hansen with the other goals there. And then we played Arsenal, who beat us earlier in the season. And we played them at Anfield this time, managing to beat them 3-1. Sasha Ball getting 2 and Wellington getting 1. Then we played West Ham, who also beat us earlier in the season. Again, we beat them 3-1 this time. Uh, Turnbull and Sandoval getting 2 goals. Fantastic. Then we played Chelsea at the Frank Lampard Stadium. A really even game this one. Our strikers didn't really play well, hence the 6.3 and the 6.5. And it ended... In a nil-nil draw. Probably our first nil-nil in a very, very long time. Then our last game to recap was against QPR in the FA Cup. Fifth round, away from home, we managed to pick up a 4-0 win. Really comfortable game. Hansen getting one. Bowl getting one. Yilmaz getting one. And Lorenzini getting one. Ball also missed a penalty in that game. So our live commentary for today will be against Roma in the Champions League. Last 16, first leg. Again, we haven't played Roma before, so it should be interesting. So this is the Premier League table after 23 slash 26 games. We're currently leading Arsenal by about 8 points, with 3 games in hand. So it looks like we've pretty much wrapped up the Premier League title yet again for this season. Southampton, obviously. I've covered Southampton a lot in this episode, because I'm still like annoyed the fact that they're fucking a 5-star team, but... Yeah, they're currently in 16th. Spurs in 15th, that is surprising. Um, Everton in 9th, you know, not Forest all the way up in 6th there. Let's look at Roma before we actually go into the game against them. So they're currently 3rd in Serie A, 7 points behind Udinese, who are obviously managed by Brendan Rodgers. And they're our feeder team, which is also really, really good. So let's look at a few of their players. Uh, if we go on, general info and sort by value. So Zvennik is actually one of their most valued players. Now you remember Zvennik because he was one of our regens. And we sold him to Roma because he wasn't good enough. So if he's classed as a key player, we should be beating Roma comfortably. Into the pre-match screen where Norbert expects them to play a 3-5-2. So it's going to be the battle of the 3-5-2s in this game. It's going to be very interesting. So the only changes to the team that's going to play anyway from the last episode is Yomas is going to be coming in for Gonzalez because he's injured, and Wellington will be coming in for Saar because he's also injured. We've actually promoted Zoran from the under-18s to give him a few games uh, near the end of the season to help him grow as a player, and we're going to give Cresswell more games as well because we've kind of ignored him uh, in the last season or so. But let's go into the game and hope we get a win or, you know... I'll take a draw against Roma. I don't want to underestimate them, like. But they are going for a 3 5 2. Um, obviously, they're playing 5 in the centre of midfield, or 3 in the centre of midfield, I should say. Whereas we're playing 2 with a cam, so ours is more attacking. So who knows how that's going to uh, pan out. But we'll take that off, and we'll take off that from the winger. We'll just close down the midfield, and we'll go into the game. So a couple of away goals, I'll take that, because I think we'll easily beat them at Anfield. But this could be a tight game. I mean, I hope it's not. I hope we batter them, but... Oh, Ball! Nearly scored an absolute worldie, though. Come on, Diana. Sterling? Is he going to go in? No. Big chance, and Sterling's now offside. Wellington's been booked, hopefully he doesn't get sent off. Fairly even game so far. Hansen, Lorenzini, Sandoval, oh he gets tackled. Now Roma can break, and they do. Good block. Ball to Diana. Nearly found Sterling. Sandoval, Sterling! 
Ah, we've had a few key chances early on. Haven't scored yet, though. Come on, one of them surely must go in. Diana. Oh, ball! Excellent! 40th goal of the season for Sasha Ball. Makes it 1 0. And he gets us the away goal as well. Sweet. Oh, Sandoval's picked up a knock. I think I'll bring him off for Dino at half time. I can't really risk Sandoval. There's some key games coming up. Oh, he may score though. Probably should have. He does score. We're still going to bring him off at half time, even though he's just scored when he's injured. We can't risk him. Turnbull. Sandoval, he scored another goal. He's got two goals while he's been injured. What a guy. It's a great finish. But 3-0. Very, very good half. Have they changed anything? No. Okay, so we will bring off Sandoval. For Dino, obviously he's going to be unhappy because he's on a hat trick, but we really can't risk him getting a long term injury. You know what Sandoval has been like with his injuries in recent times, anyway. Oh, good save by Tyson there, good tackle by Yilmaz. We haven't seen much of Roma so far. I mean, it's been, I say that, it's been fairly an even game. They've had two clear cut chances, we've had three, they've had eight shots, we've had ten. So 3-0 is probably quite harsh at this point. They've also got Bentaleb, I didn't even notice him. Ball. Come on, close him down. Ah, oh, good save by... Oh, I don't think Tyson saved that, actually. I think he just hit wide. Ah, oh, we've made it 4-0. And that surely should mean we win the tie. I mean, they're not going to come to Anfield and beat us, let's be honest. We've now got four away goals. I think we'll make a couple more changes soon. Ball! Oh, Turnbull Sterling! Fantastic! 5 0! This is just cruel on Roma! There's no way they deserve this. But, you know, I'm not going to complain for obvious reasons, but 5-0. Sensational. Just clinical today. Are they going to get one at least? Yeah, they got one. Uh, we're going to concentrate. Oh, let's watch it first. Tyson didn't even move there. Alright, so we're going to concentrate. And we're going to bring off Sterling for Scott Law as the only change for now. And then we're going to bring on Raikou for Wellington. Didn't realise how elite it was into the game, actually. Ooh, they nearly made it 5-2. And they do make it 5-2. They change things up. Again, we'll wait till after the replay. I'm not used to playing on replays. Even though we've done like what, like fucking 68 episodes. Right. Um, opposition. No, everything's still exactly the same. Oh, they've brought on a different midfielder. That'll be why. That will be why. I mean, there's no point me doing this. There's no reason for me to be doing this right now anyway. So we're leading 5 2. There's only 5 minutes left. If we make it 6-2, I mean, that's even better. But Yilmaz, we should just see the game out. Oh, Diana's through here. Oh, we've missed a sitter. This is one long ass highlight. Come on. There we go. We managed to beat Roma 5 2. 
really, really harsh on Roma. We've managed to get five away goals. So that probably will mean that we will be through to the quarter-final. So I think in the next episode, I'll be back for the quarter-final. Obviously, unless something drastic happens in the return leg, I should be back for the quarter-final. So I'll see you then, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Bye-bye.